I found this blue fabric at my favorite place, the thrift store. It's stretchy and blue and has a ribbing detail on it. It was $4.99 and there's like a whole bunch of it. What I'm gonna do is just trace out my other turtleneck that I already own and then sew it all together. It's a ribbed fabric, which means all the pieces need to be cut in a way to make sure that the ribbing goes in the same direction. Essentially what I'm gonna do is like fold so that the center front or back is against this line here and all of the ribbing is going vertically because the stretch goes this way so I want it to be able to stretch over me so stretching that way ribbing that way Ta -da! so here's the back piece I just cut out I just put it on top I'm just gonna trace around it this fabric had a bunch of weird writing on it and it didn't come out when I washed it so I think it's stuck there forever but that's okay because thankfully there was enough all on this side and here for me to be able to make this so that's why I bought it because it was only $4.99 and it was so cute! Two pieces. Now the neck is lower on this one compared to this one. Ta -da! So now I'm gonna trace out the sleeves. I already lined it up. Um, usually sleeves are different on the front and the back and if you wanted to do it right you could trace both sides but I don't want to do it right. I just want to do it quick. Am I right? <sighs> And now, since I have two arms, I'm going to do this all again. Two. The last part that I need to do is the turtle part of the neck. I'm kind of just winging it. I don't really know the proper way to do this. I am going to trace out this. I have it folded here so it'll create it as long as needs to be. And then I'm gonna also double it this way so that it's super tall because I have to fold it over because this part here is is uh, folded doubly, if that makes sense. So here's all my pieces, the turtleneck, the back, the front, the sleeve, and the other sleeve. So now essentially just gotta put them all together. I'm gonna put the front with the back, sew the sleeves on the sleeves, the turtle on the turtle. I'm gonna sew this turtleneck first and then toss it aside for now because I don't actually need it right now, but I wanna just get it out of the way. It's sewed up there essentially what I'm gonna be doing when I'm ready for it that time of my life is just folding it in half to make it a turtleneck. Will this even fit over my head? Let's do a little test. Ta da! So that's what it will look like. Fashion! I got the shoulders all sewed up here, and now I'm gonna do the sleeves. I need to do it right sides together. So, flip this around so that I have the good side, and then take the center of the sleeve, match it up with the center here, and then unfold this thing, and essentially just clip, 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 clip all around here, and then sew it together.
sleeves, sort of. I've attached them to the shoulders and they look okay. This is so close to being done. So all I have to do now is sew up the sleeves and the sides and then attach the turtle. Turtle neck. <laughs> it's pretty simple. All I'm gonna do is just do a straight line all the way down. Or maybe I'll do from the armpit down and then go back armpit up. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, if you haven't already noticed. Um, I taught myself how to sew uh, from YouTube, so shout out to all ya crafty people out there. I'm just kind of winging this, um, making it up as I go tracing stuff out and hoping for the best. But I think this is gonna turn out really cute! And if it doesn't, I don't even have to post this video. No one will ever know. So far, I'm pretty pleased with how this is looking. It makes me feel like a happy little bean. This was so easy to make. I could have done this with both of my eyes slightly closed, but mostly open. If this video made sense to any buddy. Maybe you should like give it a try. Be like, hey, if that weird girl on the internet can sew her own clothes, so can I. Let's do it. Let's go over a little bit. Ta-da! One piece of the puzzle done. Three more pieces left. This arm, the other side, and the other arm. Technically four pieces because of this. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna hem any of these edges because it is a, I forgot what it's called. Stretchy fabric. So when it's stretchy, the ends don't really fray that much. So if you can cut straight lines and you're okay with the raw edges, you're gonna be turtlenecking so much sooner. I guarantee it. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Wow, who saw that coming? Not me, personally. I was really thinking that would never happen. Pieces. But I've pretty much finished everything else. So exciting! Let me just have a peek at the inside. Just get excited a little bit. Ooh, ah. If that is not a great looking armpit seam, I don't know what is. Perfectly crossed, uh, maybe not. But it's pretty darn good if you ask me. It's looking like a shirt looking like a shirt. So to put this turtleneck part onto the shirt, you see I've already folded it in half. So I'm gonna have the seam at the back of my neck because that's how it is on my other turtleneck that I copied this from. So let me just open up the seam in the inside and then fold it over just so that it's not all clumpy in the inside there. Nobody likes clumpy insides. Anyways, this is gonna be the back. And so what I need to do is find four quarter points on here. So like, should I use pins for this or clips? I feel like pins is the more obvious choice because like they're easier to manipulate. But if I wanted something easy to manipulate, I'd find your mom. Just kidding, that was so rude. Don't include that. <laughs> I'm gonna get pins. 
So, I'm, this seam is gonna be one point. I'm not gonna bother pinning it because it's a waste of my life. So I'm gonna pin this side so I know that that's a quarter. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again the other way so that the pin is in the center now matched up with the other side and then pin the two sides on that side I have no idea what I'm saying the trick is to pin it like that potentially just gonna do the same exact thing with the neckline here so now what I'm gonna do is slouch and give myself bad posture and then figure out which side is the front again because I don't remember this is the front and we're gonna be working right sides together. So I have this turned out right side out. And I'm gonna find all of my points of interest and I'm gonna match them up with the points on here and then it's gonna be a party. Turtley party. Back seam of the turtle to the back seam on the shirt where this pin is. Match those up and then pin them together. Ouch, 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 ouch. Pins everywhere. Find the front pins, match them up, beep boop. Take out one, take out two, just pin them together. All right, so side seam, side seam, match them up, pin them together. Man, this is hard work. <laughs> Shout out to all the turtleneck makers of the world. Match them up, pin them up, ta-da! You're just gonna sew around the whole circle and it might not like match up in some places like it might be like a bit bigger or smaller but you just kind of have to play with it and I think it'll work let's, okay let's do it I'm really worried that this part might mess up this entire thing but I'm hopeful that it won't Nothing is ever guaranteed in life. That's why you always have to, you just gotta live your life. Live every moment. Honestly, I think it's turning out pretty good. I think we're gonna have ourselves a turtle. <gasps> Stop. It's done. Wow, I think that's the fastest I've ever made anything. So I'm gonna try it on now and see if any of the edges need trimming to just straighten them out because I'm not gonna hem them. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how it turned out. Wow, so exciting. the easier garments that I've made myself. There were very few bumps in the road. When I imagined making this for myself, the turtle part, turtle part neck, <laughs> turtle neck part would have been more like snug. It's pretty loose. I should have not made it the same size as the neckline. I should have made it a bit more smaller, but I still really like it. Um, it's giving me some like 70s um, ski resort vibes and honestly I'm into it. I might go to a ski resort wearing this but probably not. I am going to wear it every single day for the rest of my life. Hope that this video helped you realize that Value Village has some great fabric and you should probably check there because recycling is better than not recycling <laughs> and like it cost me five dollars 4.99 canadian dollars that's a steal of a deal shirtle neck <laughs> okay bye <laughs>